Hello, my name is Era. I want to talk to you today about a foundational breath in Kundalini Yoga. We call this breath of fire. In the practice of yoga, there are a few different versions of breath similar to this. They have different names. Today, I'm just going to focus on this particular version. It is a rapid breath, but it is kind of shallow. It's not forceful. It is energizing, again, but because it's not forceful, like say Bastrika or something like that, it happens to be an energetically balancing breath on a little bit of the fiery side because it is called breath of fire. So with breath of fire, the contraindications are if your immune system is feeling low, what that means, you know, just, just any time if you're feeling low energetically or you're battling sickness, you don't want to push yourself too far or too hard. Just stay with long, slow, deep breathing. If you are pregnant, we want to keep the body cool. So practice cooling breath exercises. It is recommended if you are on your menstrual cycle for the first day or so, to not do breath of fire. The reasoning behind that is because we want to cultivate the um, apana energy, that downward flowing energy, and breath of fire is very pranifying, you know, it's upward lifting energy. That's up to you, okay? I, I know some women that practice on their menstrual cycles and they are fine with it. You listen to your own body and you can decide. It is essentially like long, slow, deep breathing, but it is faster. Go ahead and find your comfortable seated position, aligning the pelvis, heart, head, elongated, light, lifted spine. Bring one hand to your belly. We'll take a few long, slow, deep breaths, just so you can feel the action of this breath. When you're ready, inhale into the belly, expanding all the way up through the rib cage top of the lungs, collarbones spread. You can take your other hand up if you like. And then exhale the opposite way down. At the end of that breath, your belly presses in a little bit. Inhale, navel expands, rib cage expands up to the top of the lungs. And then exhale the opposite way down, pressing the air out with the belly. Keep your hand here. So now we're going to speed this breath up and you're going to feel the belly move in and out just like you did before, but it will be a little bit faster. We're gonna start by panting. It does feel a little weird at first, but it is truly one of the easiest ways to learn how to do this breath. Open your mouth, stick out your tongue, and you wanna stick your tongue out. I, I often see this. That, that won't activate the proper muscles. So don't be afraid, stick your tongue out, you're gonna look funny and begin to pant. <laughs> Keep panting, feel the belly moving in and out as you pant, relax your solar plexus. So keep that solar plexus relaxed, continue to pant. Keep going and then we're going to make an O-shaped mouth and start to blow. Keep blowing like a little choo-choo train, chugging along. Keep the, keep the solar plexus relaxed, keep the diaphragm relaxed. That, you, that relaxation is allowing the diaphragm to move. The muscular action is coming from the low belly. Try not to think it too much. When you overthink it, it you, get, you kind of stop and start. Let the rhythm flow, your own natural rhythm. Keep blowing, and then as you're ready, you're gonna seg into closing your mouth and panting through the nose. Inhale and exhale. Breath of fire, I make it look easy, but it takes time to learn how to do breath of fire. 
and be able to just relax in this breath. I find it very oxygenating, enlivening, energizing. It's wonderful for cleansing your lungs. Hello, we all need to take care of our lungs these days. Breath of Fire is a wonderful practice to do. I recommend doing it for a few minutes every day. Uh, three minutes every day in a yoga posture, in a meditation, bring that breath in it's also wonderful for shifting patterns so the yogis know when we work with our breath we're also working with our subconscious patterns the breath is subconsciously controlled we don't have to think about breathing we just do it the subconscious mind controls that however we can also consciously control our breath so the breath is seen in yoga as a bridge between the conscious and the subconscious mind. And we can work with self-defeating patterns that way. Um, we can work with um, revealing to ourselves who we truly are according to the Yoga Sutras. That's the purpose of breath practice, to remove the veils of illusion and re reveal our true brilliance. So working with our breath is a very simple way to do that. And just take your time. Anytime you you practice breath of fire, rest whenever you need to, relax, come back to that rhythm. Your rhythm might be faster or slower than mine. Find a rhythm that works for you and work on relaxing in that rhythm. Let's do a one minute breath of fire set. I don't have my timer, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna guess it, okay? So you're gonna sit up nice and tall. We'll get into wisdom mudra, gyan mudra, thumb and index fingers touch. I like to put my palms down just for grounding. Good. Elongate the spine, stacking pelvis, heart and head. Close your eyes. Focus inward to the third eye and begin. You can start by panting, blowing, and then we'll go into breath of fire. Inhale, pause the breath for a moment. Just hold the breath in, hold steady, stay relaxed, feel your body rooted firmly to the earth, keep that connection, and exhale. Thank you, thank you for joining me in this practice today. May your pranayama practice blossom and grow. Namaste.